Arch Madness isn't just another rags to riches story. This magnificent trotter has been a continuing saga of faith, perseverance, teamwork, and talent. The son of Balanced Image became a world-class international performer. Yet Madness may best describe the development of this gangly replica of his sire. When trainer Tron Smetshammer first looked at Arch Madness as a yearling, he didn't like what he saw, and he entered him in a mixed sale as a two-year-old before reconsidering. Owners and breeders Mark Goldberg and Barry Goldstein decided to keep him after selling his dam at auction. And after only two starts as a freshman, Smetshammer eventually believed Arch Madness would go on to do some incredible things. That he did. Arch Madness would become only the ninth trotter in history to pass $4 million, ranks number six in earnings among all trotters in history. He set several world records and maintained his major stake star status right through his 10-year-old season when he was still going strong. A major turning point came late in his three-year-old season when Arch Madness finished second in the Kentucky Futurity. The heats took the edge off him and he became more focused, which prompted his connections to take the $62,500 plunge to supplement him to the Breeders Crown. With Brian Sears in the bike, the gamble paid off with two straight gritty upsets over Donato Hanover. And Arch Madness was the only horse to defeat him in his 2007 Horse of the Year season. Arch Madness came back to make another $800,000 at age four, finished first or second in nine of 12 starts that year, and posted a 152 score in the prestigious Maple Leaf Trot. He banked another half million as a five-year-old and continued to become a much calmer horse. At age six in 2010, he romped to a stakes record of 151 in the Arthur J. Cutler Memorial and posted a world record of 151 at Pocono Downs in his very next start. When Arch Madness turned seven, he ventured overseas, winning the Oslo Grand Prix in Norway and the first elimination of the Elite Lot. Yet he would finish a disappointing sixth in that final. Back on home soil, it wouldn't take long for Arch Madness to bounce back with a 150-2 world record in the 2011 Titan Cup, en route to another half-million-dollar season. Smedsammer said it was the best performance of his career. Arch Madness would return to Sweden at ages eight and nine and posted back-to-back second-place finishes in the Elite Lot. Yet his stirring performances against North America's best trotters have built his legion of fans. And Smetsammer had him on his toes in the fall of 2013. Arch Madness equaled his own world record of 150 and two-fifths at the Red Mile. Then a week later, he rallied to a 151 and three upset in the Alaraj Farms final. Tron Smetshammer admits Arch Madness has been a handful throughout his dream career, and he credits his grooms, Maria Christofferson and Ida Nilsson, for keeping the horse happy and successful at the top level for so many years. Arch Madness was a durable warrior who always answered the bell. Every year he came up with a magical moment, and at age 11, the great ride heads into retirement, leaving a legacy of memories and madness.